in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Someone is here asking, how shall it be? How shall these things be? Is it true that from this Abuja, God will lift me with no father and no mother? Is it really true that in spite of the fact that I do not have a job, by the end of this year, I will be in my own house? How shall it be? Let me tell you this. You know it is God talking to you when your power cannot make what he says come to pass. One of the ways you can know it is God speaking. God talks to you like he's talking to himself. Because he knows that what he's saying will depend on his power, not your power. God can look at a woman selling something by the roadside and says, Mama, you are going to train five children in a private university. Is it selling yam or egg by the road that will pay that? No. By the time he's speaking, he has already positioned the destiny helpers who will give your children scholarship. Do you believe what I'm saying? I hope you think you don't you don't think I'm just motivating you or talking a preacher's talk. No. This is how he works. So the next time you see anyone at all, including the person speaking to you, walking in a realm and a dimension that is inexplainable by the wisdom of men, it immediately tells you God has come to assist that man. There are results that men cannot produce. No. How does a man stretch his hand towards a sick person and does the work of a doctor who has studied medicine for 15, 20 years as a consultant without opening the person up, without diagnosing this, without... Look at the laborious work that professionals have to go through to diagnose a sick patient and then identify which of the kinds of cancers or which of the kinds of troubles and then in a moment no men cannot do that you will begin to produce extraordinary results in the name of jesus the son of the living god extraordinary results listen when it is time to pray today i want you to not just pray for yourself bring all your family members prophetically into this service and pray there are some of you the results your children are producing is too ordinary they will suffer if they keep going that way the world has become a cruel place there is no room for ordinary living again you are either diabolic commanding results from the realm of the spirit demonically or you are truly in line with the anointing producing extraordinary results living an average life will only end you in penury you will be angry you will be jealous you will be you hallelujah there is a grace for favor that can come upon an individual that someone can look at you and say i don't like you but i don't know why i put your name for promotion now, that one is not normal again This is true. Just because you have not experienced it does not mean it does not happen. It has not happened to you, but it does not mean it is not happening. There are people living in that reality every day. My assignment this afternoon is to stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit and truly release something upon your life and release something upon your destiny. Something you did not come for service with in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. You can know the presence of the anointing in your life and what kind of anointing by the testimonies that recycle in your life. The testimonies and the physical results in your life are attestations 
of the kind of grace that is on you. When the grace for health and wholeness is upon you, you will find out that in spite of all your careless living, not eating and eating randomly, you are still standing strong. That is not normal. But financially, so you know the areas where the anointing is not working by the troubles that remain. While I'm speaking to you now, start looking at every aspect of your life. Where in my life is not working? That is the area that is in need of the anointing. So that when God begins to release that grace, you don't just shout amen at random and live back into pain. Hallelujah. When it has to do with intelligence, even in, within the NIS, they know that God has granted me intelligence. So that grace is working. But every time good things are about to happen, I am always forgotten. It's not just a demonic issue. It's that the grace that makes for remembrance. Do you not know that in the realm of the spirit, there is something called the book of remembrance? Mordecai helped the king save his life. Without Mordecai, the king would not even live to marry Esther. And yet he ignored Mordecai. But that night, the Bible says the king could not sleep. When that grace comes upon you, you will be in your house minding your business while God is waking your destiny helpers and saying, 10 years ago, this person helped you. Have you blessed him? Or you don't believe this happens? Why do we need the anointing in our lives? Let me give you two reasons. There are two basic scriptural reasons why the believer needs to be empowered. Two basic scriptural reasons. Number one, we need the anointing so that we can subdue the forces of darkness that fight against our destinies and fight against the purposes of God. Never forget this. I'll take it again. The first reason, the first scriptural reason why we need the anointing in our lives is so that we can have the empowerment to subdue the forces of darkness that fight our destinies and that fight the purposes of God. NIS, do you know that God has a plan for this service? And do you know Satan is aware of that plan too? And do you know that if not resisted, Satan will fight tooth and nail to see that God's divine destiny for you, as far as your work in NIS is concerned, does not come to pass. But that is the assignment of the anointing. The anointing is the agency that enforces compliance. It ensures that the speakings of God comes to pass in spite of the devil. Psalm 66 verse 3. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. It says through the greatness of thy power. Thine enemies shall submit themselves to thee. It takes more than grammar. It takes more than human connections. It will take power to keep the devil at bay. Apostle but you see in this commission I'm a sincere person. But I'm always being victimized. I hope that I'll be able to talk with a few people so they can help me. No sir. In this kingdom, the language that the realm of the spirit understands is power. Someone shout power. power. Let the devil hear you. Power. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power. As hard as a metal is, fire does not run away from it. When you put that metal, the fire may look weak. You can't hold it. But let the metal rest there. And as long as it rests, the fire does not change. Something begins to happen to that metal until the metal becomes like liquid. He makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire. So when the devil drops anything upon you, you are not the one who is changing. Sooner that situation begins to squeeze until it gives way. If you believe me, say amen. Say amen again. We need the anointing to subdue powers. Let me tell you the truth. Whether you believe it or not, whether you agree or not, there are powers 
territorial there are powers by bloodline there are powers by reason of you being on the side of christ there are powers by reason of what you are doing there are powers by reason of your calling that fight you it takes power to keep them at bay apostle have been delivered from every cause in my family congratulations what of the attack that follows your call what of the attack that follows your being a believer do you not know the day you declare the lordship of jesus you have drawn a line in the realm of the spirit there are many people fighting battles they do not understand who did i offend you gave your life to jesus it was not only us that saw you coming to the altar call the realm of the spirit and the altars that tied your loved ones also saw you declaring your all and they said so you want to break out of this all right so be it when jesus was born as a baby an attack started immediately two years and below many children died because a special child was born it has is not you are not the first as soon as joseph got to egypt that would be the place of his prophetic destiny immediately satan began to program a woman who came and put him in trouble and they did not know that the wisdom of god was playing out through that attack until he finally became a prime minister please if you have been rejecting empowerment because you think this thing is just for pentecostals or just for men of god preachers missionaries apostles pastors no you will you will live in a if you will you will allow the devil defeat you in this end time you need genuine spiritual power when i say power i'm not talking of falling down standing up the force that compels compliance satan is stubborn by nature the first time god spoke satan came to man and said did god say when he came to jesus he said are you really the son of god he will come to you are you really blessed is it really true that you are free from that yoke you are not the one who is supposed to answer him that is the ministry of the anointing the anointing has been mandated to answer the stubbornness of satan that every time satan says no your children will not become great your stories and your discussions will not help it takes the anointing to answer him I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head we need the anointing to subdue the forces that fight against our destinies fight against the purposes of god over our life so you are the first who will rise from this family and wipe their tears so you are the first who will rise and stop this and the devil tries to attack but by the power of the lord you will resist and you will prevail number two why do we need the power of god why do we need the anointing the second biblical reason why we need the anointing is so that we can fulfill our god-given assignments so that we can fulfill our god-given assignments and advance the purposes of the kingdom please write so that we can fulfill our god-given assignments everyone has a god-given assignment but it takes power to fulfill that assignment jesus himself spoke to the disciples and said tarry ye in jerusalem until ye be endued with power tarry 
tarry that means do not be in a rush to move i know you have zeal i know you want to do everything in a hurry but tarry until you are endued with power from on high so that we can fulfill our god-given assignments or god-given destinies and then advance the purposes of the kingdom jesus himself said i will build my church and he says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it that means the greatest resistance to the advancement of the church of the lord jesus christ is called the gates of hell satan and all his arsenals and the schemings using men using systems to fight men is someone learning so we need the anointing it is a risk to try to take on this destiny adventure just with the knowledge of where you are going and without the empowerment to get there it will be the same thing as knowing for instance that you are supposed to go to say um let's say one of the the parastatals here in abuja to drive and go down there maybe somewhere in jabi or in wuse and then you have a car beautiful car but there is no fuel how in the world do you intend to get there the beauty of the car does not become fuel no matter how wonderful the car is it will need that fuel for many of you you have been keeping and admiring beautiful cars that cannot move you anywhere because you have gotten the vision which is the car but the anointing that empowers that car it can run but it is not moving hallelujah so we need the anointing you need the anointing you need empowerment most of us have bottles of oils in our house but we do not have the anointing because i had i told you earlier on the power is not in the oil listen carefully the power is not i pray for oils and all of that so i'm not i'm not demeaning these things but i'm saying primarily the custodian of the anointing the administration of the power of god resides within the office of the holy spirit acts chapter 1 and verse 8 let's begin to tie up because i want us to pray and this afternoon there will be an impartation in fact it is the same oil that we are going to use if if we have it do we have that oil please we can bring it and just keep it here let it just soak in this glory because something must land upon your head this afternoon in the name of jesus christ but you shall receive power that means you can reject it anything the bible says you shall receive you also can reject it sadly many have rejected the power of god to their peril you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and that this power will make you to become witnesses to me both in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth it takes power to be an effective witness hallelujah please i'd like you to rest once and for all in this understanding that you need power there are people here who are in ministry you need power not billboards not posters not a social media platform uh -uh. all those things are subjective without the power of god you are only wasting your time believe me you are a businessman more than the the acumen of economics remember that because you are in christ there is an extra resistance satan himself so that you don't see someone who you say well this guy is not a christian and he's doing well the question is does satan fight himself no many of us here are business people and it looks like nothing is working how about your finances as soon as some areas come or some money comes some profit from business mysterious sicknesses 
one stubborn child goes to do something and you hear that they are calling you in the police station and you have to now carry a sizable portion of that money you almost want to look at the child and kill him and not know what to do with him for being stubborn and bringing this kind of wastage and before you know it the entire money is gone it is demonic you need the power of god how about disfavor how about shame how about reproach how does someone just sit down and hate you i hope you know it's not normal I don't know what it is about you but i just hate you and for as long as you are in this office you will not rise the person who is speaking may just be speaking humanly but believe me there is an empowerment making that person have that kind of hatred so what aspect of your life right now are you lacking the anointing you know by the results you do not have. Please look up. For some of you, eh, you love the Lord sincerely, but that grace for prayer and supplication is not there. When you sit down to pray, even if you sleep for eight hours, as soon as you say in Jesus' name, you will wake up three hours later on. Because the devil knows that you're, for as long as it does something to your prayer life, you've tried putting your legs in water like you are writing exams, you've tried lying down on the bed, even while you are standing, you will still sleep. It's an attack. There are others, the grace that opens up scripture. You read everything and you cannot understand. When you hear people talk, it's as if it's not the same Bible you are reading. Something is wrong. How about favor? I'm listing this area so that you will know the one that concerns you. There are many of us, easy things become very difficult because the empowerment is not there. You have been building a house since 2000. I'm not mocking you. I hope you understand. I'm challenging you. A three bedroom flat for 10 years has not finished. Abba. That is not the way God works. There are some of you in a whole day trouble must come and meet you. Whether you meet it or not. You will make mistake and call the wrong number and they will insult you or something will happen you are driving home you will hit the, the, the car of, of a, a policeman or a military man or an angry person when they want to steal somewhere just when you are entering the shop that's when the hoodlums come so it, this there has to be so it is an atmosphere you are carrying did jonah not enter a boat and because of the atmosphere he was carrying people lost money they lost things let me tell you the truth it is this negative atmosphere that many people carry that's why sometimes prophets in not discerning accurately they will look and say this person you carry a bad spirit or you are a witch what they are trying to say is there is a climate you are carrying that is causing loss and pain to others it's only that sadly for many of them because they are not sound in doctrine the interpretation of their perception is not accurate but that's what they are trying to say there are some of you friends have run away from you because anybody who comes close to you a business that is already working just because they called you and say rejoice tomorrow we are going to celebrate the business goes down it's an atmosphere he said thou anointest my head with oil listen this afternoon when we begin to pray you are going to pray and say lord change this atmosphere i'm tired of this negative thing good people keep living your life because they have discerned that there is something you carry they employ you and the company goes down because you are there power of the highest shall overshadow you is someone learning now very quickly how do you receive the anointing how do you receive the anointing i'll give us two keys for this service and then we'll pray Ah, someone's life is changing in the name of Jesus Christ someone's life is changing number one pay attention now 
the first key or the first platform the first way we receive the anointing is directly from God through encounters please write directly from God through encounters directly from God through encounters Acts chapter 10 and verse 36 the first five words Acts chapter what is that 38 my apologies Acts 10 38 not 36 please read for me the first four words as loud as you can ready one to read one more time who anointed Jesus it tells you immediately that number one Jesus was anointed even Jesus had to be anointed and it tells you who anointed him and when you read further it tells you what he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power and the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him God can anoint men through encounters Solomon received that grace for wisdom and an understanding heart through a direct encounter with the God of the Bible the Lord asked him to make a request and he did make that request and it pleased the Lord that he requested for an understanding heart and not more wealth or the life of his enemies God gave him an understanding heart like no king had ever had and alongside that he gave him riches wealth and honor he woke up in the morning and found out that the grace had come upon his life you can receive directly from God through encounters number two how do I receive the anointing the second way and that is the more general way that scripture allows for receiving the anointing is through impartation from careers of the anointing through impartation from careers of the anointing not just impartation from anybody not just impartation from Christians impartation from careers of the anointing impartation from careers of the anointing in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7 Paul was speaking to the church in Philippi and he said even as it is meet for me to think of you all he said because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel the last sentence reads ye are all partakers of my grace how many of you all so it is possible to be a partaker of the grace upon a man through impartation ye are all partakers of my grace Romans chapter 1 and verse 11 Paul speaking again for I long to see you he says that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established I long to see you I desire our contact I desire to come to you so that I may impart upon you something that helps you to be established hallelujah numbers chapter 27 from verse 18 down to 20 numbers 27 18 to 20 please look up write it and please look up I want you to see the scripture and the Lord said unto Moses take thee Joshua the son of Nun a man in whom is the spirit he already had the spirit he said lay your hands upon him reading to 18 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight I love 20 thou shalt take some of your honor put some of your honor upon him I will always pause to comment on this scripture that honor is transferable you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is a grace 
The assignment of honor is to make men pay attention to you and value you. If that grace for honor is not upon you, no matter how righteous, how holy, how sincere, nobody will listen to you. Believe me, even if you have what to say. Many of us are great people who have something to say. Intellectually, spiritually, financially. But that mantle of honor is not on your life. Nobody seems to pay attention to you. Please leave that scripture for us. Thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him. Why? That the congregation of the children may be obedient. Loyalty is not the issue of political maneuver. There is a grace that can come upon you. Do you think that, um, I don't like to use the word celebrity because believers are not called to be celebrities. We are called to be ambassadors. However, being a true ambassador will require influence. The world calls people who have influence celebrities. Are we together? The difference between a celebrity and an ambassador is purpose. Both of them have influence. But a celebrity has influence without purpose. No assignment to it. While an ambassador has influence that is connected to purpose. Do we understand? But for the sake of explanation, let me use that word. Do you think that it is normal to have people across a region or a nation or regions suddenly like an individual and become loyal and follow that person? Not just on social media, but you call on nations and they hear you. Abba, we are not children. There is a grace. If that grace is not upon you, no matter how old, how qualified, how rich, nobody will hear you. There is a grace for honor and it will come on someone this afternoon. When that grace comes upon you like Gideon, you will sound a trumpet and 32,000 people will come and gather and say, you called us, what do you want to be done? This is the kind of grace politicians should desire instead of many of this nonsense they keep doing around. You see that? But believe me, when you call and men answer, it was more than your voice that called them. It was the grace for honor that called. Parents, if you don't have the grace for honor, your children will disrespect you no matter how, no matter how nice you can try every disciplinary action, it will still not work. The grace for honor. Are we together? Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9. How to receive the anointing. Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9. Okay, thank you. Just, just keep it somewhere in front here. Nothing superstitious. Just so that it can just soak in the glory. That's all. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of what? The spirit of wisdom. Why would the Bible tell you the dimension of the spirit that came on him? Because he already had the spirit, but he did not have wisdom. And the Bible says, when Moses laid hands on him, among the many dimensions of the spirit that rested upon him was the spirit of wisdom. You know that the Holy Spirit operates dimensionally. Remember Isaiah 11? When you read verse 2, that, that root from the root of Jesse, that branch that comes out, and then the Bible tells us what we call the seven spirits of God. Or the seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit. And you see that there are seven but the operation is into four. Number one, the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of dominion. Number two, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Number three, the spirit of counsel and might. Number four, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Seven spirits but they are channeled into four. Just like the four rivers that came out of Eden. What is the key to receiving from God? The key to receiving directly from God is your hunger for God. Write it down please. The key to receiving directly from God is your hunger for God and your depth of consecration. Your hunger for God and your depth of consecration. Your hunger for God 
and your depth of consecration. Blessed are the pure in heart, the Bible says, for they shall see God. What is the key? Please look up. What is the key to receiving from a vessel who is a carrier of that anointing? Number one, honor. Number two, service. You are not entitled to receiving any impartation from a genuine carrier of that grace until you practice honor and until you practice service. When you read 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 9 to 11, 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 9 to 11, the Bible himself testifies that just read it for the sake of time. It says it describes Elisha as the one who poured water on the hands of Elijah. That is service. He did not just seek Elijah to receive power. He was genuinely, genuinely concerned about serving him. Listen, let me tell you the truth. If God has given you an opportunity to serve in this house, whether at a national level as an ESCO or at a state or regional level, I want you to serve the Lord within the time allotted with integrity and truth. Knowing that service is the ladder that promotes men to awesome levels of the anointing. You may have heard me say it in my teachings. I have profound respect for people who serve God and serve me. Because I know the power of service. You can serve your way into extraordinary levels of the anointing. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us? You can serve your way. The Bible speaking, Jesus himself was speaking. He said, He that gives a prophet a cup of water, he says, shall receive a prophet's reward. In fact, one synoptic account says, He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward that means when god calls you and anoints you listen carefully there are rewards that come with your grace and at the instance of honor honor is the key that makes for access now sadly i must commend sadly that we men of God have taken advantage of these scriptures and we have twisted it and created servitude out of people. We've turned people into slaves with this whole concept of, you know, prophet, man of God. And um, it's sad for the imbalances. However, let me tell you, the reason why very few people receive from those who are anointed is because of dishonor. Our world in a strange way seems to have an affinity and an obsession for dishonor. We trivialize people's sacrifices and make it look as if what is there, you are just lucky. For instance, you can see someone rising in this service. NIS, the person came as an ordinary person and there has not been any promotion where the person has been exempted. There is a grace there. You can't trivialize and say you are just lucky. Every time you trivialize people's sacrifices and the investment of God's grace upon them, you close the door to receiving that grace. It's why many children do not receive what is on their parents. I would always give this example. If you can get my teaching on honor, please do. The law of honor or any teaching at all. Hallelujah. You will easily find that online. I believe that among the many things God has granted me the grace to do is to help the body understand what we have been missing through this honor. Honor is powerful. It can open you up to untold realms of grace. There are many people today who are poor because they think every wealthy person is corrupt. They see someone who came to this city for instance, maybe with 100 naira or 1000 and within one year, two years, three years, God has blessed them and increased them like Abraham. 
Now there are some who may have followed wrong ways, but there are people who with the dignity of kingdom integrity have mastered the ways of the spirit and have been lifted thus. And many people will just look at them and say, these guys don't mind these people. And yet the person who is complaining is broke and poor and in need and will not learn. Every time you criticize a grace, you close the door for receiving that grace. There are people who criticize the miraculous and yet they want to walk in the miraculous. They criticize the prophetic. Now I've told you already, I know that there are imbalances in these things. There are people who have unfortunately delved into extra biblical practices. I know that. But within the boundary of doctrine and scripture, no. Have regard not just for God and his anointing but for the vessels who have paid the price to carry it. Otherwise you will not have it. Believe me when I tell you that. Even though Mary was the mother of Jesus, she had to go and join the queue in the upper room to remain there with humility to receive the Holy Ghost. Yet it was the Holy Ghost who got her pregnant. And you think she would have bragged and said, look, before all of you came, the Holy Ghost and the Word both dwelt in me. Yet she had to humble herself. Otherwise she never would have received the Spirit. She humbled herself and listened to Peter. I hope you know that when Jesus came because Peter, I mean Peter was older than Jesus but come on he could not have been as old as Mary are we together now how does the mother of Jesus who carried the word for nine months you know what it means for the word to be in your womb empowered by the Holy Ghost a visitation from angels those are the credentials that would have made her a leader over the 120. But she humbled herself and was listening to Peter and saying, yes, sir. And when the Holy Ghost came, he came on her too. There are many people who use the bias of age, gender, human experience, educational qualification to mean just because you are doing well in the secular. Every time spiritual things come, you just pocket your hand and say, is there anything I can receive? No. It is a wrong approach. You don't receive that way. For you to receive in the spirit, there is a law. The Bible says, and without controversy, without all contradiction, it says the lesser is blessed of the greater. The lesser there does not mean the person who is low. It means the person who is in need of that grace. Are we together? Physics teaches us that there cannot be a flow until there is a potential difference. Is that true? There cannot be a flow from point A to point B when they are at the same height. There has to be a gradient. There has to be a potential difference. There are many proud people who cannot receive the anointing because they feel after all what is there. I am also born again. I love the Lord. And their suffering cheap battles become something that is so difficult. No favor, no grace, no lifting, no revelation, no access. The Lord has gathered us here again for this last time that we will receive something. I have seen people in my life who are carriers of these graves, especially our fathers of faith. And every time I've had the honor to meet them, I don't look at myself and say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I have revelations to miracles to this and that. I throw away all of that thing and I humble myself I do not know enough. Let me learn. And with humility I receive. Can I tell you, when it has to do with receiving impartation, it is not only men of God who have anointing. Mama who raised 11 children without begging, there is an anointing on her. Forget that she did not go to school. You will be foolish to imagine raising 11 stubborn boys and all of them became great. You think it's just by parental discipline? No. When mama fries Akara, and that's what she used to pay the school fees of 11 children, I can tell you it was not just that thing she was frying. There had to be a grace. There are people who have never gotten a job, yet you will never ask them for money, and yet they'll, and they'll, and they'll be stranded. You who is working will come and meet them and say, please, can I get 100,000? They will enter their room and bring out 5, 5 naira, 10, 10 naira, 50, 50 naira, until it matches the amount. There is a grace. So I'm, I'm not I'm only initiating the
a process for you. You must begin to discern people around your life. Some of you may need to call some of your loved ones and your parents now that you have them alive to say, Mama, whatever grace was upon you that made you relocate from the village to the city and yet you did not die, please, here is a seed of honor. Release that grace upon me before you go to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. When I started ministry, even though God was already doing great things in my life, I went and met my parents, my biological parents, even though I had received impartations and blessings from veterans in the gospel, I went to them and I knelt down and I told them, I said, you are my parents. Among the many people who should bless me, you should be it too. I carried a seed of honor and said, no, it's not about big man, I am this. I don't care what the world is saying. You see, let me tell you, we succeed because we are products of many anointings. The blessings of many people is upon us. Are we together? The blessings of many people. Most of you who work here have not been blessed by the privileges that come here. Some of us who are outside of this service have even been more blessed from this service than those who are working here. You know that because those who are working here have trivialized the people that God put there. It's true. There are some of you, even though you are working in the service, you will be surprised to get a passport, to get something can even be hard for you even though you are working there because you have not tapped from the grace for ease that comes within that place. I have been greatly, greatly blessed, and I must say this, even on a note of thanks. From the time God connected me to NIS, right from the days in Kaduna, up until today, this is over a decade plus, I have enjoyed, there is no time I have come with a cry for assistance or whatever from the Nigerian Immigration Service that have not seen believers run round. No, I, I thank you. I have to say that. That the things that will take people days and weeks. I remember one time, my first, very, very first um, passport, they swapped my names. They took surname and put, and all of that, and now to, it was affecting me, and I said I didn't want anything so that it would affect me. And to do that was quite a complicated procedure. This and that. But I remember senior executives right from here rallied around and within, I think it was within minutes or so, they had done all of that. It was at the time when Hajj. So there were so many people. Everybody was frowning, just watching people with gallancy taking me from one office to the other. I said, it's not my fault. It's called honor. But let me tell you this. Some of you, you are seated here right now and you have insulted some of the people already. You will change your passport or your passport will expire. You must learn to honor people so that the day that you need help, there will be a memory of your communication for honor. Listen, this is wisdom God is giving you. Are we together? Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Listen, I can trace moments in my life 
when I encountered several dimensions of the anointing and I can tell you what those anointings have produced in the life of this man when your coordinator was introducing me yesterday and today he said a lot of wonderful and gracious things and I appreciate it so much I've enjoyed so much honor from NIS and even from many if not all of you who are seated here let me tell you the secret it's not because of anything we have the Bible clearly says our sufficiency is not in ourselves it is of that God who has called us and made us abled the word abled means empowered empowered ministers of the spirit and not of the letter for the letter killeth but the spirit gives life there are some of you here who are in ministry you must desire this impartation right now there are some of you who are in business financially things are down there are some of you sicknesses and infirmities eating up your body and all of that i know that we've stretched our time it's going to be a few minutes and it's going to be a quick walk now here's what will happen we'll do three or four things in succession very very quickly number one is that i'm going to pray for this oil i know that i saw a few people requesting that they have their own bottles of oil so don't worry i'll speak over it right where you are now we're going to pray for this oil i don't know if they are jars or they are plates but if we do not have it oh dear we have only one do we have a number okay please let me know when we have it so that we we'll position people maybe one or two in and then the various overflow so that we would redeem time we'll do that very fast and then i'll speak over your life but are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet there are three prayer points that i'm going to give to us very quickly prayer point number one lord i desire to live for you and to serve you all the days of my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray lord i desire I desire someone is praying there is no need for empowerment when your heart is not inclined to serving or living for Jesus outside are you praying I desire in the name of Jesus Christ that my life will advance the purposes of the kingdom in NIS in my family my home in my church ministry someone is praying someone is praying someone is praying hallelujah prayer point number two father the mantle and the grace that must come upon my life for the next level of my spiritual efficiency lord let it land upon me someone pray pray the anointing the grace someone is praying Someone is praying. Are you declaring? Even by the Spirit. Lord, the grace I need, the mantle, the oil that must come upon my head and come upon my destiny.
Hallelujah. Final prayer point. These Egyptians that I see today that have mocked the grace of God upon my life by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the anointing, they must be scattered. Someone lift your voice and begin to pray. Egyptians of sicknesses. Egyptians of shame, disappointment, retrogression. Someone pray. Don't be distracted. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Fire is falling in this place. Listen. Here's what I want you to do. Now, um, the men and women of God, we are going to have someone stand here. We are going to have someone stand here. We are going to have at least one person outside. I don't know how many overflows, but at least just one person there. Here's what we'll do. Please let us conserve time. You are just going to leave your seat. Just walk out. So maybe we have to make way. I don't know if you are coming from here or there. Ushers just regulate us. So what will happen is pour some of the oil you just touch this on your head a symbol of your glory on your hand a symbol of your productivity you go back and you open fire you begin to pray are we together but thou O oh lord and a shield from me my glory is blessing jesus name please stand but thou O oh lord My glory, the lifter up of my head. Oh Lord, if you're coming from this side, this way, the oil is right there. If you're coming this side, the oil is this way. You lift my head. But thou, oh Lord, thou, oh Lord, I for me. very quickly if you are coming from this side here's your way if you are coming from this side very quickly make sure you are praying the oil on your head the oil on your hands and you begin to pray Someone is praying. It's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare. Man de A man of God is praying. A prophet is praying. A pastor is praying. A businessman is praying by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help those under the anointing. But thou, O oh Lord,
Coste de Benecata, e Franze Caparato, Sega de Benecata, Santa Macatosia. Believers pray, something is upon you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Listen. The anointing is transferable. Believe me when I tell you. You can carry something in your life today. That you did not come with. Hallelujah. Now as I speak over your life. It's going to be fast. We just have a few minutes. I don't intend to keep you longer than necessary. But impartation is not a Pentecostal jamboree. Unfortunately, it has been abused again. But when you understand the spirit of impartation, it is someone carrying something from God through a vessel that is required for the next level of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, very quickly, whether you are inside or outside, I want you to be sensitive as I minister right now. Anyone under the anointing, please, I want you to bring them out. As I just minister, so I like you to be sensitive. Whether you are an usher or not, please be your brother's keeper as you receive. Hallelujah. Be your brother's keeper as you receive. In the name of Jesus. I want to release the grace for speed. I, ha I know that there is such a grace for speed. And please, I want you to bring those under the anointing right now. Because I'm going to pray. Some of you, your entire families, your life... There has been all kinds of delays, unnecessary delays. Right now in Jesus' name, Shani Skabaroziata. Father, I am praying right now. Everyone who has been a victim of delay, delays of all sorts, my God, by that fire from heaven, may that grace rest upon you now. Please bring them out, bring them out, help them. Take that grace now. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare. Bring them out. That grace for speed. Outside, inside. Receive it right now. Help this lady please. I declare that fire. May that mantle. That makes for speed. I release you right now. Every plague of witchcraft. That has tied you. Mates katikata. And kept you in the same position by the mantle of the prophetic, by the mantle of the apostolic. I release you now. 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 Now I'm praying. I'm seeing fire come on people's hands. The works of your hands. There has been an attack over the works of your hands. But by this anointing, the Lord is setting you free. At the count of three, that grace is coming. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Help them. Bring them out. Take that fire right now. Take that fire right now. The works of your hands. I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. 
Don't be distracted. Something from heaven is coming upon you. Now hear me. Any spirit that is roaming around any destiny here, I'm about to minister deliverance right now. Every altar that is fighting everyone at the count of three, shout Jesus and that fire comes upon you. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cast that spirit out of their destinies now. Help that woman please. My God. Freedom from causes. Freedom from yokes. Freedom from orchestrations of ancestry. Please help them. I command that spirit. Go, 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 go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me please. This grace for favor I spoke about is about to come on everyone. This one is not a few people. I want you to receive it. That mantle will change your life. Believe me. Father, I'm praying right now upon everyone here inside the Abate Shalekata. Lord, let that favor grace at the count of three. May it locate your people and turn their lives around. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace for favor. Favor in the morning. Favor in the afternoon. Favor in the evening. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. That mantle of favor. Help this woman, please. Someone help that woman. Hear me. Anyone who has been victimized in this Nigerian immigration service, I stand by the mantle of the prophetic and the apostolic. Between now and the next 90 days, we correct that error now. We correct that error now. Anyone who has started any project that has not come to completion, it is the devil by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Receive the finisher's anointing. Paratos Kepeba Lakata. Receive the finisher's anointing. The finisher's anointing. The finisher's anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. Anyone here who has been barren, physically barren, mentally barren, spiritually barren, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Fire is burning in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear me. I pray for every family represented here. The plague of shame and reproach that is upon your life, it comes to an end finally. It comes to an end finally. Comes to an end finally. Comes to an end finally. Hear me. Everyone here, please hear me, particularly for those who work here at the immigration service, anyone who is due for promotion and yet you have been kept down either because of sentiments or religion in the name of Jesus by the God who called and anointed me. 
we veto all sentiments and we establish your promotion we veto all sentiments and we establish your promotion anyone who is due for posting and has been victimized by the power of the holy spirit let the book of remembrance be open hallelujah now please lay your hands if you are trusting god for healing in any part of your body we're wrapping up fire is burning in this place if it's a part of your body you can touch please touch if it's a part of your body that you may not be comfortable touching just lay hands on your chest don't worry those under the anointing when they are fine they can stand up and go don't force them to stand there's a reason why we ask them to come this lady god is visiting your family this lady wearing a white sweater there is such a supernatural work god is doing god is 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 removing the cause there is a cause that god is taking away please lay your hands very quickly i want to pray for you a miracle is about to happen right now i believe in miracles i am a miracle myself i know what it means to be afflicted and to be healed lay your hands now i want you to agree with me as i pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the power of god the healing anointing will begin to flow to people right now but there's a lady who is going to shout a loud shout now honestly sometimes i don't know this has happened many times here so by now you know this is not just human acting it is as we hear the spirit say it is strange a loud shout the moment that happens the power of god will begin to move here help that woman it's even a woman not even a young lady now i can pray for you in the name of jesus christ i want you to believe the spirit that is behind any and every infirmity by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command that spirit to give way now I'm telling you all I'm seeing is just fire falling on people that's what I'm seeing I command that spirit to give way now give way now give way now help her give way now now I decree and declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every blood condition whether you are inside or outside be healed in Jesus name every growth in your body I command that growth to disappear now heart conditions be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you have a problem of frequent urination the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ frequent urination be healed now there's someone you hear sounds in your ears like you know just you know like a, um, you know just something really very noisy even when you are not in a place of noise it's affected your hearing the power of God is touching you right now now anybody with any blood related issue that means any sickness that is through the blood in the name of Jesus be healed now migraine headaches be healed now the issue of blood be healed now barrenness of all sorts be healed now heart conditions be healed now ulcers be healed now frequent treatment of malaria and typhoid month after month be healed now severe pains around the joints be healed now HIV be healed now there are two men here God is showing me you are already beginning to have
embraces of enlarged prostrate this happens when you go to ease yourself by the power that raised christ from the dead we normalize your prostrate now in the name of jesus please hear me anyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise i stand by the god of heaven and i cancel that statement now hear me what you have struggled to achieve from january till night apparataskia help her please till now july i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit i release grace upon you go and achieve it help them please go and achieve it 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 now hear me please i know that there's all kinds of threats in this country right now that you know all kinds of things even abuja the fct is threatened but we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ over the fct and over the boundary of the nigerian immigration service no evil will penetrate your gate please agree no evil will penetrate your gate not kidnap not bomb blast not shooting no one will be a victim of this evil in the name of jesus i may not know all the things that you need corrected from the top right to any level but whatever is going wrong in this place institutionally speaking especially that which fights the church in the name of jesus we rearrange it now we rearrange it now and for everyone who is not part of the nigerian immigration service but came here to grace this occasion with them in the name of jesus may god call your destiny helpers to come and rejoice with you may my god call your destiny helpers to rejoice with you in the name of jesus christ now all those who are executives i know that a new election has has, has happened right now but prophetically let me pray for you whether you are aware of it or not those who will take the helm of affair by the privilege of god's grace just a little less than a decade i have been a part of this great family and i've seen the remarkable things that god has done in the name of jesus i pray for the escorts who are coming it will not fail in your hands please shout amen amen it will not be it will not fail in your hands every conspiracy against this chapel and this church and the vision of the church upon the nis in the name of jesus it will fail Amen. by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus Amen. now if you if you came with any point of contact or your oil so that we don't have people you can just lift it quickly let me speak over it any point of contact if there's nothing don't worry you can just receive but any point of contact inside and outside I want to declare over it right now and declare a blessing over it in the name of jesus every oil every medium whatever it is points of contact photos i see people lift it documents in the name that is above all names i call it anointed i call it blessed for those lifting up documents those documents will no longer be empty documents they carry the seal of favor for those lifting the photos of your loved ones i decree and declare in the name of jesus a divine visitation for them for those lifting bottles of oil water i decree and declare may they carry the power of god to bring healing deliverance restoration and breakthrough in the name of jesus christ whether it is a medical report or whatever it is you are lifting in the name of jesus i decree and declare find favor Amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen and amen. amen now please hear me just one last thought and then we're done we are living in times where the devil is
plaguing the spiritual fire of many believers. Please hear this. Even those who were on fire before, the devil is attacking their spiritual fervency to bring them down. This will be my last decree over you. Please hear me. If all you do is receive breakthrough, receive lifting, receive promotion, and your relationship with Jesus, your prayer life, your word life is down, you did not get much. Praise the Lord. We are living in times where there is no one leg in and one leg out. You have to make a decision that I am for Jesus and I am for Jesus sincerely. No playing games, no one leg in. <laughs> and you are not just for Jesus, with Jesus just for money or with Jesus just for promotion. These things will come. But let me tell you the truth. Your heart must be purified to ensure and insist that you love him no matter what happens. Can I pray that one prayer for you? Father, for every backslider, for everyone who may not be as serious with spiritual things as should be, for everyone whose prayer fire has gone down, for everyone who the grace to fast is not there again, for everyone who the passion for the house of God is no longer there, for everyone who is surrounded by negative and wrong friends and associations, that continue to plunge you into ways that are not of God. I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh prayer, prayer fire upon your altar. I reignite your passion for the word of God. I reignite your passion for the gathering of the saints. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the prophetic. I edit your associations. Every association that is anti-Christ, anti-kingdom and would destroy you. May you be separated from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless NIS. May the Lord bless the chapel. May the Lord bless the leadership. May the Lord bless everyone who names the name of Christ. That when next we meet in the name of Jesus you will be at least 10 times better and if you allow me let me declare if the mark of death is on anyone if the devil is already planning that this will be your last conference in the name of Jesus we cancel it right now for in Jesus name we pray thank you so very much Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye!